Dear colleagues, from the first minutes of the Russian army's illegal invasion into Ukraine, we expressed unconditional support to our neighbors. The response to our firm stance of this issue has been the hybrid war unleashed against us by the Russian authorities and their agents in Moldova. An important element of this war is propaganda. Public opinion polls testify of, to its effectiveness. 22% of Moldovan citizens believe that the Russia is protecting from Ukrainian attack the People's Republics of Donbass. Another 11.5% think that the Russian army is liberating Ukraine from Nazism. The information war primarily targets the Russian-speaking population, which is not less than 40% of people of various ethnicities, including a part of ethnic Moldovans. The sneaky purpose of the propagandists is not only to deceive, but also to discord the people of different ethnic groups that make up the nation of Moldova. For example, in the Gagauz autonomy, which in Moldova is traditionally considered a pro-Russian region, such fakes are promoted. For Moldovans, the Gagauz people are enemies, and some politicians call to expel them from Moldova. Needless to say, it is an absolute lie disseminated to destabilize the situation in our country and to incite inter-ethnic discord. The main means of propaganda until recently was television. Last December, the Moldovan Emergency Commission suspended that the broadcasting of six TV channels that were spreading disinformation about the developments in Moldova and the Russian invasion into Ukraine. Some of these channels are also affiliated with the fugitive oligarch Ilan Shore, who is under international sanctions. Now the propagandists have intensified their activity on the internet, absolutely dominated the Russian language segment in Moldova. They have come there with a powerful resource base, modern studios, experienced journalists and the latest equipment, plus unlimited funding. It is a known fact that the Kremlin regularly compiles special manuals for its controlled media. The following ideas in Moldova are promoted most often. Moldova is doomed without Russia. It has no future. Moldova's movement towards the decaying EU drives the country into a dead end. We believe that special attention should be paid to countering the Russian propaganda by developing independent mass media, including for the dissemination of content in Russian. Perhaps we should create a separate pro-European TV channel in Russian, following in example of Ukraine. We need to join forces with Ukraine and other countries that have escaped Russian influence in order to find effective methods of counteraction. We cannot stand by and watch information bombs fly at our people. Hybrid warfare can escalate into an armed confrontation at any moment.